Hey, what's up? So, quick and dirty video about the Mac Mini M1 experience. I have it for two days now um, and it's not going too well, actually. Uh, not only my machine seems to be defective, something with the RAM, I guess, no matter what I have connected, hard drives, uh, hubs or nothing at all, or no matter what I do, um, it crashes, kernel panic, odd colors on the screen for a moment. Um, I have to send it in, maybe even return it altogether. Anyways, that's not the real issue that I have. The real world experience is uh, different than having just a few uh, clips, high res clips, uh, 6K, 8K, whatever clips in a timeline. When you add music, titles, color corrections, lots of B-roll and stuff like that to a project, things don't work out too well um, or not better than a eGPU Mac Mini anyways. So um, also lots of plugins don't work, even though, for example, FX Factory is supported and updated, plugins inside of FX Factory might not be supported or optimized yet or other stuff like I still use Mojo 2 quite a lot for my color corrections to get skin tones right and a little bit more Mojo in two looks. Doesn't work and lots of other essential tools for me don't work yet. So that might be expected but it's worse than I thought. Also on the audio side of things, Logic Pro, uh, I thought uh, that would be the main factor for now. But plugins like Isotope RX8, the whole suite, actually doesn't work at all. It kind of shuts down and crashes Logic and you have to deactivate before you open your project because if they are activated, then the project doesn't open at all. So they get odd, odd signs and stuff like that. FabFilter works fine, um, on the other hand. And overall, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'd say, not disappointed, but it, I thought it would be a better experience overall. But I think it's fine to have a few clips in there for a quick YouTube video or Insta clip. It might work out fine. And yes, I put in some A7S footage here. I never had a snappier playback performance or scrubbing performance with a color correction on there in any Mac that I owned. So that is quite a impressive and makes for a good YouTube video. And yes, you export a one minute Insta clip, that's fine. But in real world, things are different. So yeah. So other things work just fine. I have three screens going here and I could have one uh, number four screen here. Um, and I'm having this one connected to the HDMI. This one is connected to the call digit TS3 plus, which works fine. And then I have this little thing going. This is a USB three, a USB A connector to two display ports. And it seems to work fine, doesn't seem to have any big impact to the performance of the system, even though having said that, mine doesn't work too good uh, because of the hardware issue with the logic board, I guess. But uh, that works, this is good. Also with the Thunderbolt hub, it seems to work fine. You can connect quite a bit, but yeah, things like even the um, loop deck works just fine. Like before, I can, work on my color correction and it's responsive even with the 2.6 which is still the uh, best working uh, loop deck software don't go for the 4.1 or whatever it's called now so this works fine card reader works and the call digit all good other than the plugins some odd behavior maybe also calibrating your displays with stuff like that uh, doesn't work and might take a while until it works because all the architecture how the displays are connected and stuff like that is still quite new and also with this kind of adapters i think those tools might have issues so this is 
also something that doesn't really work. And all those three screens, even though they are good, this is a nice LG, this is a new nice BenQ, they have all different color temperatures, this one is more bright, this is more blue, and tools like that are essential and yeah, don't work. So also a big thing for me at least. So for now I'd say wait at least until all your plugins work fine or updated and if you have more complex edits lots of effects going on titles b-wall audio uh, it might not be the system for you you might wait for the second generation and also with the ports i think it, it's getting on its limits even with two ports if you have hubs going on maybe i fried my system with all my stuff anyways that's it quick video about that and maybe i make a more complex video about that but for now i'm sending back this machine and maybe even don't wait for a return unit or anyways that's it see you in the next one cheers good night